Welcome to another episode of Love and Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, if you're listening on podcast platforms, I'm going to be breaking down the GOAT episode four and Vanderpump Villa episodes nine and ten. If you're watching right here on YouTube, I will be just recapping the GOAT episode four. If you're not subscribed to the podcast over on podcast platforms, they're available anywhere you listen to your podcast. All you got to do is type in love in reality pod uh, podcast. All right. 14 reality superstars move into GOAT Manor to face off in a brand new hilarious competition show hosted by Mr. Daniel Tosh. They will compete in over 20 challenges, earning and breaking one another's trust as they battle out for $200,000 and the title of the greatest of all time. If you missed the first three episodes of the GOAT, go catch up now because this show is a blast. Also, programming a note, if you missed it, I have interviews with the cast and crew of the GOAT uh, season one. You can check those out over on the YouTube. I've got interviews with the entire cast. At the end of the season, I will be releasing all of the interviews together as one podcast. I look forward to doing that. But throughout the season, I will be sprinkling, sprinkling in clips and interviews. Uh, my first interviews are up right now over on the YouTube page. Um, I sat down with Joey Sasso, Lauren Speed Hamilton, um, Jason Smith, uh, Paulo Mayfield, uh, Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Alyssa Edwards, uh, C.J. Franco, Raz Firehand, and Joe and Bill. Um, those are great, 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 great chats with uh, each and every one of them. You don't want to miss those interviews. It was a blast. Programming me note here, folks. I will be continuing my coverage here of the GOATs here that you'll be hearing these episodes on podcast platforms drop on Mondays. If you're watching on YouTube, they will drop every Thursday as you'll get to hear the episodes drop a little bit early as I combine some of the content together um, as we shift into a newer atmosphere of trying to figure out what shows we're going to be covering. The Ultimatum South Africa is released. Going to be talking about that uh, throughout the next couple of weeks. And Perfect Match is right around the corner. You're not going to want to miss that one either. Great, great shows coming. I cannot wait to talk more about them. But let's go ahead and dive into episode four of The GOAT. Um, our first three episodes saw the elimination of Joey Sasso, Sasso uh, Taisha Edward, uh, Adams, Lauren Speed Hamilton. Um, Paulo confronts CJ about turning her back on the girls. CJ tells Paulo that Devon did not care about them and she threw the challenge. Um, she's trying to spin this. Uh, Justin apologized to Kristen because he felt blindsided by what unfolded. He said he felt attacked and he let the person come out. He doesn't want to. I, I did like this moment. I did like this moment quite a bit. Justin was, was uh, he was, he was, A, they threw a competition to get him out of the show, right? There's one. Two, he thought he was about to go home. A lot of things unfolded. Sarcasm, yelling, screaming, bickering back and forth. What he said was wrong, but at least he owned it and apologized to Kristen um, so that they could kind of, you know, square things away a little bit. But Daniel Tosh has arrived to announce that they are going to be doing a competition based on the medical based reality shows. They got all dressed up in scrubs. Devon knows she has to win this competition or otherwise she might be on her way out the door. Game works as follows a big looking face with balloons filled with goo. If the balloon is filled with blue goo. They are safe. Some of them are filled with yellow. If you pop the yellow, you are out. Last person standing wins the immunity. Round one. Rezzy goes first. Rezzy wants some big dick energy going into the house, saying that a man needs to win the immunity. We've had three straight immunities, three straight women taking the thing. Um, so he's ready to win. Um, we see a montage of all these things going on. He nailed the blue one. Remains in the game. Joe is next. This is funny. Okay. Joe just looks like he's there sometimes maybe to collect a check i know they they confronted him made it seem like he didn't want to be there and that's what it felt like watching him watching his demeanor watching the way that he acts all of the above really makes it look like joe does not want to be there he doesn't he wouldn't even wear the 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 nurse's cap on his head like it just it was just he wouldn't he wouldn't do it you know what i mean it, it was funny but uh justin is the first to go getting to get a yellow one is eliminated jason was gone next followed by tech jill tried to pop the pimple and it wouldn't wouldn't let her 10 minutes later, she finally popped it. It was a blue one. Paolo's gone. Reza's gone. Devon's gone. Joe is sticking around after another winner. And then Joel, Jill is gone. Final round, we had Kendall, Kristen, Joe, and CJ. CJ gets the blue balloon. She'll end up being the GOAT. Sadly, it was 
yellow. Uh, Wendell ended up winning, which is massive considering the big move that he played last week, swinging the house in his favor. However, <laughs> we saw a nice little twist early on in the show here. Tosh offers Wendell a deal to buy the immunity for $5,000. Deck is telling him to take the money. Everybody is like, 5K, I mean, hello, you don't really, like, you have a pretty solid stance of where you're at in the house right now. Why wouldn't you just run with it? So what does he do? He runs with it. Um, he takes the $5,000 and puts it in his pocket. Um, of course, this means that he is able to be eliminated from the show. He builds it up saying, as much as I want to take the money, I'm going to take the money. Um, it was hilarious. He took the money because he has a baby on the way, and it's hard for him to be away from his wife, so he wanted to make the most of it, so he took it for his family. Love that so, so, so much. I mean, at the end of the day, if you had eliminated next week, you at least walked away with $5,000. You know what I mean? You're at least walking away with some sort of money. Uh, Wendell wants to play the game with Devon now, and so he pulls her aside. He said he had made a good he had to make a good game move, and he wants to work with her going forward. He asked her to be on his team to win the competition tomorrow. Devon says that uh, says to the camera she's going to let him do his thing, but she knows what he is up to. Mm -hmm. It's about figures. It's about having that person. It's about having an extra player on your team. It's about all those things, all the above. Um, it, it That's just part of this game. You know what I mean? So uh, everyone, <laughs> Tosh brings up, ask everybody if they had had surgery in the past. Kristen was the only one that volunteered any information about what they got done. Uh, hilarious moment hilarious moment uh wendell picked jason joe cj and devon to be on their teams wendell picks jill to be the one that sits out Kristen, paulo justin reza and tech are on the other team each team will pick a surgeon and one by one the surgeon will send their team blind send their blindfolded teammate but they can't touch the sides or they will get a little jolt First heard to remove all forces, uh, all, all pieces, and put them on the surgical table will be safe. This was like a live action operation game. Pretty cool. Pretty. This is one of my favorite things about this show and about watching the show has been watching the um, the competition uh, competitions and how creative they've been with them. It's so much fun. So cool. So much fun. Uh, this competition was hilarious. Justin and Divine being the vocal ones. Um, they were the ones that had to guide their teammates the way they had where they were going. And when I tell you, Kristen had me laughing my ass off in this because Justin's like literally yelling at the top of his youngs. She's like, I can't hear a single word that he is saying. Uh, these folks were hitting their heads, getting sap. Devon yelling was beautiful because what she did was, is again, Devon is, got, is loud. She's a game player. They know that. They know that she's loud. They know she could do this. So she was so loud in her yelling that Justin was trying to yell at his team to tell him to do stuff, and he couldn't do it because she was so loud. Uh, Kristen was struggling mightily, and it was hilarious. Obviously, we see Wendell's team win the competition, meaning Kristen, Paolo, Justin, Reza, and Tech are on the chopping block. Uh, Paolo is pissed. Uh, she's going to be on the chopping block. For the fourth time in four competitions, um, Kristen just kind of accepts the fact that she's already probably going home. Uh, Jill's going to try to put her, uh, Jill tries to put her in her place. It's hilarious. Jill's like, no, nah. like, no, nah, bitch. Like, you're staying home. Like, you're staying here. You know what I'm saying? It was hilarious. I love Jill. Uh, she's very vocal, very loud. Love it quite a bit. Uh, the guys are talking to getting rid of Kristen because she's an easy out. Wendell's open to the idea of voting someone else out. So Kristen has to find a new person to put on. Uh, to put a target on Reza. It's voting time. Um, we are at two for, again, can we talk for just a minute about how amazing it is that Tosh has these little open things and he's like pretending to read off the votes and there's nothing on this piece of paper. So like he's either just going off memory or going off of like, just like predictions in his head or whatever it is. It was just hilarious. Um, it was, it's, um, Two to two, two for Kristen, three for Reza. It's three to three. It's now five to three, Kristen. And the fourth person eliminated from the GOAT was Kristen. This was sad. I really wanted Kristen to kind of stay around. And it just was like, man, did she really have to go? Um, Kristen says to all the men, are y'all threatened by the women in the house? <laughs> you knew damn well that Kristen wasn't just going to go out without, like, without saying anything. Like, she had to say anything. So she calls out CJ saying she's the worst of the worst and isn't a girl's girl. Kristen walked away but came back and said she meant what she said about her being a girl's girl. And she's and is only here for the men, talking about CJ. Uh, Jill's not happy with Reza. 
uh, throwing shade at Kristen on her way out. Her and Divine are trying to make a plan. What an insane finale. Like these, 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 uh, eliminations are crazy. You know what I mean? Cause there's just so much drama that comes after them. Like Lauren was pissed and then it led to like a big battle amongst everybody else. And in the clip for next week, we find out that episode five is going to have a double elimination, a double elimination. I'm very, very, very excited about that. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Love and Reality Podcast. I talk to you guys next week talking GOAT episode five.